Titan, 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 Titan Craft. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 14 of Titan Craft, which is Tango Tech's Patreon pay to play server. If you'd like to join this absolutely amazing community, I'll have a link in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitch. I'll have a link in the description. <laughs> I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. I had about ten things run through my mind right there, all at once. And I, you know, I always rehearse a little bit before I get going, uh, like before I start uh, recording an episode a little bit. And uh, yeah, it all just kind of went to crap there. <laughs> but anyways, what are we doing in this episode? Well, we're gonna do a multiple multitude of things. We got all the buildings down here, all the main buildings down here that I want. Um, we, I'm not even quite sure what we're gonna do. I know we're gonna build. We're probably gonna build a couple statues at least in this episode. Uh, people have been putting in bill requests for statues of all things, which I think is awesome. Um, we got one, we got one to do at spawn, and then a couple at other people's bases. Or maybe like th there's like three or four, three or four I need to build. But the spawn is going to be the next uh, statue that we get to. We also are going to get started. I don't know if we'll finish these in this episode or not, but we're going to get started because this is going to be mainly a streaming project. Um, this area, these areas in between here, all the way up to about, um, to about, about right here or so. Um, we gotta dig this out, we gotta build some paths in here. I've got the path designed, not so much the structures underneath. Um, and there, these paths are a little weird and they're gonna be a little different on every side, I believe. Because these, like for some reason, this building needs to be moved back two more blocks. And obviously, we are not going to do that. <laughs> I don't have the patience to do that. I'd have to tear this whole thing down. There's villagers in here. No, it's not happening. The only way it could ever happen is if a mod came over and moved it back to two blocks from me. And I, would, and I, for the most part, would never ask a mod to do something like that. Um, there might be a special occasion where that might need to happen, but... Uh, for now, you know, this is a mistake I made for building, you know, planning and everything by the seat of my pants. But anyways, we're going to build this pathway here, right here first, which means some of the shulker monsters are going to have to go. Well, actually, not too bad, actually. Uh, it's going to connect right here. It's going to raise up a little bit. Um, we're going to be putting our beacons in, in in their final spots, which is a whole nother thing. We, we'll, we'll travel up here in a second. Um, because the beacons, the beacons are going right here in the middle. I have it marked out uh, where they're going to go. But I'm going to build the pass first before I put the beacons in just to be safe. Because, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that here in a second. Uh, but the path will go, you know, obviously you'll be following this and everything. I, I'm not going to dig this out until after I get it built. I, I, the path built that way is it like there's l le less work I need to do. Uh, but uh, these center paths right here will be the same uh, with the beacons going through the middle of it and they'll, it'll kind of go around the sides of it uh, the path will but up here there's a whole nother story and it's gonna be rough I think well I, I have an idea to get these out and uh, we're gonna get some phantoms because I haven't slept in ages um, but I've kind of put in the positions of where all the beacons should come up at there's one right underneath this, and I guess you guys are kind of seeing what my problem is right now. I'm going to have to take out some of this stuff, put glass in. I'm going to take out at least... It's going to be two these two pods right here, all the way to the top. And that doesn't matter, because we're going to extend this eventually. We're going to make this, a, like, twice as big. Because um, once we get that super smelter going, and we're getting closer, we're getting closer and closer to that super smelter every day. And I want to do 64 furnaces. I really, really do. Um, but if I do that, I'm going to have to do a whole other thing that I'm, I've never built as like a stacker loader. If I, you guys even know what I'm talking about. Um, like for the mine carts and stuff. But that's a whole other. That's that's another episode. Um, this one's a problem. Um, obviously that one over there isn't. I put a little plus there because that's where all the beans will be. Uh, there's one underneath the cactus farm as well. And the cactus farm isn't as big of a deal. Um... I can just add another layer onto this and be fine. But what we'll have to do is, uh, you know, just put glass right here where this ice is and uh, um, take out whatever's above it. Um, so which, that's not going to be too bad. Um, that's probably just something we do in the stream just to, you know, you have something to do in the stream. I, I like doing stuff in streams. And then you guys just don't see me do all the grindy work kind of stuff. And 
But whatever, yeah. But uh, we got kind of a lot to a, a, a lot to do. Um, and first of all, I want to get this like I'll work, I'll get this path in right here. And I'll probably just show you what it's look like. Or oh my gosh, show you what it's going to look like. <laughs> like for the like basic part, I like what these connections are going to be in between. Now I've had another big idea for this down here, and it's going to be later on in the season if we have time. Because we're going to eventually take all this island out. There's not going to be any of this island left. You, any of this original island you're going to see left. Um, all that's got to go. All, I'm going to move all this up top. Um, all these up top. And uh, yeah, we're going to just make a big giant wheat field up there. The only reason why I need that wheat field is for, for the hay bales for our, uh, for our, for our uh, campfires. But yeah. Um, I mean, you could use them for decoration and stuff too. Because like the medieval style that we do upside down. You know, I haven't got it all exactly what it's going to look like yet uh, but that that's going to come over time that would take me a long time to design those uh, but like I said I'm going to get this first little pathway in and you guys are going to have a better idea of what we're going to be doing alright we're back and I haven't got as much progress made as I want to this is taking a little bit longer than I expected it to I was trying to, trying to make sure I got all the beacons in that really what hold me up well, what, what held me up more than anything I kept running into water patches as I was digging down so I had to get rid of those um, I guess you don't really have to get rid of them. I just did it to make it easier on myself as I was doing this. Uh, but I got these all to the same spots here, same points. Um, they all they're all built up all the way to the back here. Um, I haven't done these on the sides yet, or the trim. I guess the trim is what I'm calling like the dark oak here on the sides. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, you guys kind of see kind of, kind of see what's going on over there, of course. And then I ran into something else over on this one down down in here. Now let's jump down here real quick. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how nice it is to have the speed in the base again. Oh, so good. But right down here, ran into something very useful for us. If I can find my way back down here, there we go. You just kind of see it right here. Yeah, look at that. We got we got a copper vein. Now how big this thing is, who knows? It could be it could be oops. That's not good. I hope that doesn't ruin the effect. <laughs> I don't know. I I've never tried that before. So I don't know if it's gonna ruin it or not. So basically I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do I'm gonna dig this whole thing out in here. I'm gonna dig it out. Shouldn't take too long. I'm guessing there's not much. Oh yes. I was hoping there'd be andesite. So that's awesome. But anyways, I'll kind of show you what this ends up being uh, when I'm done digging it out. Um, hopefully it's quite a bit of copper because I think we're going to actually we still have quite a bit of copper needs here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here as I'm working. But yeah, I'll show you what we end up with uh, when we're done with this copper vein. Who knows how long it's going to be. Alright guys, just, just to kind of show you, I, I think I got it all dug out for the most part. Um, wasn't as good big as I was hoping it would be, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We need as much iron, uh, copper as we can get. I th well, we, actually, we're doing all right. We got the main buildings built. Um, the biggest reason why I need copper now is for like the piping, like these things right here that go all over the place. Um, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, but <laughs> you guys know what the plan is if you guys have been watching this this far, anyways. But uh, we don't need as much copper for that as we did for the buildings. It shouldn't disappear as fast now. That is all depending on whether we build like a wall out here. That was my idea. I don't know, I'm not sure if I've told you guys this or not. I'm thinking about building a big circle around this place and making it like a dam where they have some water spilling in. Because I want to have this down a few levels lower than the ocean. Um, you know, at, at, like we've been doing over here, the water levels at... What level is the water at? I can't remember. It's been so long since we've done any of this. Like 58, and the what? What's what's um, ocean level 73, 63? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So something like that, I think, would be good. Uh, but that just depends on we have time. And if we have time to do that, would be great. Uh, I want to get the upside down part built first, the parallel dimension, um, before I even think about attempting that. So it's gonna be it, that's quite a while away. Um, we got a bunch of statues to do in between and everything, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this, get, get these bridges built out, and probably this area knocked down a little bit. And we'll, this doesn't take me a few days, so we'll do this over some streams as well. Um, so the next time you see me, next time you see me, most of this will be uh, dug out and done. 
for what we're going to be doing in this episode, anyways. All right, guys, we're back and we are done with the part that we're going to do today. Uh, as far as it's as far as the padding's concerned, it's done. Um, the top of it, like with all the lamp posts and everything, and Anita's little additions here of, with the beacons. <sighs> Anita, Anita, Anita. Now, I got you at a good time here. Most of the trap doors right now are flipped the way they're supposed to be. Um, I've been having all kinds of trouble with those trap doors for some reason. For somehow or another, they just keep flipping up on their own. I have no idea how that happens. Princess Cable's not amused. Anita. <laughs> and friends, I should say. She's getting a lot of help again this season. But anyways, what we're going to do now is we need, we, need, we need another breather from the base here. It is time for the statue at spawn. And now I have to get... I need to still get all my... All my stuff together uh, ready for I'm just actually checking now. I actually need a lot more spruce. Spruce, I said. Where's my spruce? Wait, it's right here. It was right here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I know I have some more spruce somewhere. There we go. That'll be plenty for what we got to do. And another thing I need to... Eh, we'll just leave this in my inventory. Um, I'll need some red wool. Because we're going to make a bandana for the guy. Um, I have from my ID. I kind of changed my ID a little bit from the very beginning. Um, I'll kind of go over that when we get there. I just want to make sure that I have everything that I need. Cable okay, statue box. Let's see. I better check this stuff real quick here. Let's put it over here. I don't know why I'm checking it with you guys. Oh yeah. Let's see, we have plenty. It looks like of terracotta. I'll just have to change that over. Um, yeah, what I'm going to need to do is just go get some white dye, um, which isn't a problem. we got plenty of bone meal. Heck, we can just go over here. I need to check this anyways down here. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to get over there now. That the, the usual way to get over there isn't there anymore. Still, I've still got to get used to like this new, new parts being dug out here. But we're doing pretty good. But anyways, what I'm going to do, get all my stuff together, get to spawn, kind of show you guys what's going on. Also, it never occurred to me to show you guys what we did underneath here. Just to kind of terraform to get ready. Now the water is going to come up to uh, above. Wait, which block is it going to come up above? <laughs> oh, it's going to come up above this layer right here. I think it's like 53 or 58 or something like that. 57? Well, I was wrong everywhere, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah, but the, you can see where the water is going to come up to. Um, and then some areas where we left uh, the stone in. This is going to be stone detail. Then this stuff over here will be like grass and flowers and stuff. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to get these areas in just to kind of make sure, you know, that we're ready to go here with everything. And um, I did decide what, what I was going to do. I can't remember if I've already gone over this or not. So uh, we're just going to go over it because it's been a few days actually since the last since the last cut. Uh, but I just kind of terraformed up the sides here uh, for the buildings and everything to connect them to the ground. And we'll do the same thing over here because we have a big problem back here. That I just never. I, I got. I remember when I was designing this thing, I was just exhausted from designing, ready to build, because I never really did connect this part to the ground. But we're just gonna terraform it up, you know, bring the dark oak down in some spots, kind of like what we did over here, over here by the bridge. I actually, huh? This part right here should be too dark oak. Uh, too dark oak. But I'll probably, I'll just terraform, probably just bring it down one, probably put a stair there to hide the transition. I think I did over here. Yeah, I did over here. <laughs> just to kind of show you guys. No, I, oh yeah, I did, yeah, I did. I just, yeah, I just kind of bring the blocks down that are there. Um, this will be hidden with another, like, stairs and there. It'll be pretty, 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 pretty easy, pretty simple, something to go with. You know, as soon as I start talking about the trap doors not being flipped, there I find one. I, oh my gosh, I always find trap, trap doors. That's just the way it is when I, when you base with the needers. But anyways, now I'll get to spawn. All right, guys, I'm just, I, I just went up to the above real quick, um, because I wanted to get my couple tight charts for the for the uh, for the day, and I, I just just little update, guys. I can actually do the trap door terror game now. I might actually record it because <laughs> it's kind of kind of hilarious. It takes me a while to do. Uh, record me playing it once just so you guys can see and have video proof that I can beat it. I get I showed I showed Anita the first time and I like celebrated like real big and everything. It was crazy. It was funny. Uh, but what we're gonna do here, actually. Oh I got my I got my pants. I can throw the, I can just throw these out. Because that's not really protection five on the pants. Um, it's actually uh, cursive binding on them. Uh, but I don't want 
these. Wait, what did I just? No, oh, take the. I'll take the torches. I want these. Jeez. Oh, I thought I had uh, four. But you know what? Let's go do. Let's go do a random trade. I've been wanting to do a random one for a while. We can do three for a random, but if you want to like pick your category, you got to use another Titan shard. And what I'll do just to make sure. You know what? We want a protection five helmet. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And see what happens. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it'll still register as a. Uh, What? Oh! Wait, did I lose my Titan shards there? Uh oh. Let's see. No, we didn't. Okay, so it wouldn't let me trade like that. I didn't know. I, I was actually kind of curious about that. Let's get, come on, let's get back up here. We'll do it for real this time. Oh, this thing is missing a thing of water. Maybe it's maybe it's not. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, I see what's happening. It's flowing. I never really realized. Now let's see if we can do it. I was I was always curious about that. What would happen? Did I get a, oh, I did get an achievement for that. That's funny. Oh, I got an axe. Let's see what kind of axe we got here. A spruce. Hey, that uh, I need. Oh well, we have a spruce farm, but Anita might like that. I'll hand it. To, I'll hand it to her. But now let's let's hop back up here. I always like to go up through this bubble elevator. I like I like going up bubble ele elevators for some reason. Let's get back up here and we'll talk about what we're gonna do here. I don't know how much of this I can actually build. I'm not, it's hard to get. It's hard to be hard to do any kind of building with you guys on this one. I, although I have an idea. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a cable statue climbing up the side of, of the little tower here, and we're gonna have a like a, I'm gonna be holding a stick poking at the heart of the server, and that's what that thing in the center is, just the heart of the server. And so I, this is the my first idea for this was to like have a trident, but the thing is, is that it the way my arm has to enter this to get the stick in between this area right here is really weird, like the angle that the stick is going to be in, and so it was hard to get something that looked like it was straight going and like a diagonally, but also you know it'd be. It'd be a dia it would not be like a 45 45 degree angle or a 33 33 percent angle or whatever something that would make it easy and straight um it would be like two one three two one something like that it is it was crazy if you if you know what i'm talking about like like say two one and then three i'm trying trying to show you on the blocks here kind of gridded out on this what i was talking about but anyways what i'm gonna do is get this mostly built uh, when we get ready to do some of the stick and everything, um, I'll show you guys. I have a headband I need to do, so I got some red, uh, red uh, uh, wool. Sorry, I couldn't think of what the word was. It was just wool, guys. Yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm some, I'm somewhat all here. Uh, but uh, we're gonna do it on this side over here. I think this is gonna be the better side to do it on because you come out of the above, over on the other side of this thing, and when you fly down through this thing, you, you can still get through there from the above. And I will. I asked, that was something I was kind of conscious about when I was decided where I was going to put this. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be pretty funny when it gets done. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is throw this up as quick as I can. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of visitors in between. If something funny happens, I'll try to get it on camera and we'll I'll kind of show you guys. But we'll, we'll have to see. All right, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a way to way to come in there. But you can kind of see what's going on here. Well, you can kind of see. The stick looks a little weird right now because you're seeing the dirt and everything in the background. But uh, I want you guys to see the painful process to go that I go through, just to make something look kind of silly. I hope I hope this makes people laugh. That's the whole point of this. But as you can kind of see, we got the main branch in there for a night right now, and this is ba very very much an organic build. And I'm trying to make this a very like a, like I just picked it up off the ground and like it just fell off the tree. Um, like it's very twiggy. Um, I guess that's a word, twiggy. If not, we're making it up right now. Call the encyclopedia and get that taken care of. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> uh, so, oh my gosh. Come on, Cable. Get it together here. Get it together. Can I land back up there? Yeah. There we go. As, as you can see, it's very twiggy. Not having the jump boost is really uh, messing me up right now, too. But we have a whole bunch of stuff in, in, in here to make this thing look really, really organic. Let's go like that and like that. Okay, I think we're done with those. Now, now what we need to do is kind of every once in a while, let's see. 
just trying to put these in here randomly. There we go. Um, we'll get, we, we are going to use uh, some moss. And um, the reason why is because I want to hang stuff. I want to hang like glowstone from underneath this. Um, but we're going to use like these leaves very sparingly. Um, I don't want the green. The pop of green here will really take away uh, from the stick a lot if we use a bunch of it. Um, which is hard for me to restrain myself when it comes to leaves. Uh, but we'll, we'll we'll do a halfway decent job here, I think. Uh, so we're going to go like this. And maybe one right here. I think that's good enough for that one. And then we'll just kind of continue that pattern and make sure we throw these closer to the bottom. So for when we hang the glowberries, it gives us some place to hang them. And, and like usual, um, what I'm doing is just using one of each one that we're, we're going and then... Uh, uh, trying to keep the um, number counts like on each stack as close as possible that really helps me randomize um, like process of elimination almost sort of like as to which block to use next um, guys, you guys can kind of see what we're doing here I didn't mean to do that one there but you know what it can stay it's fine it's fine now I can't get now I can't get back up no Oh wait, there we can. No, <laughs> I'm stuck. Yes, I do have a pair of shears. Shears in my inventory, but that's for the glowberries. Um, don't want to get them out until I have to. Sort of. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, it's turning nighttime. I did sleep not too long ago, so we should be good there. I just want to finish this side. We'll finish these couple, this side of it over here, and then we'll drop down and kind of do the glowberries as well. Um, I do want these to hang a little bit, so we will add more at some place. Like right here is a good spot to add another one. Oh yeah, like under here, stuff like this. And glowberries will be a good chance to add some light to this thing, especially back here where it really needs it. And we'll do, you know, let's do a flower. Oh, that's one we need to do anyway, so there we go. We'll jump down here. And go down a little bit. Now, for the glowberries, what we're going to do here. I did make a pair of shears. Where did they go? You guys are probably yelling at me right now. There they are. <laughs> let's see. Let's do something like that. I want this to go down another one. Ah, i got to go down another block somehow. See, this, this is the pain, guys. This is the pain of building like this. I just I just want you guys to see the like the process this thing takes sometimes because I do want that to hang down quite a bit, and then we have our let's put the two up there like that. We're just gonna hang those down. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is put the rest of this in and get the spore blossom in. I want the spot. I can't decide on which side I want the spore blossom on. I, I have a couple. I have a few spore blossoms that I got from raiding a uh, a thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Underground. I can't even think of what they're called. The underground uh, oasis. Underground oasis. Yeah, that that thing. But yeah. But this is the fun. But I mean, it looks so good when you're done. And of course, you know how like you guys know what I say. Oh, I meant to bring. Oh, I did. I thought I, that's a, I meant to bring moss carpet with us. Put some there. Here we go again. In my favorite spot there, I can tell. I'll be so happy when this is done. This is such a pain. But it's for spawn. You know, if, if it's for spawn, it's got, it's got to be... I feel like it's got to be a little cut above like all the other statues that we're going to do this season. And by the way, this is, this is now open season for statues, guys. They're going to start popping up on the servers on the server like at people's bases and stuff but this is this is what we're going for and I'm gonna add some I think I'm gonna add some lanterns some hanging lanterns off of this as well I think that'll look good um, we have we do have some sea lanterns in here as well hidden uh, but what I'm gonna do is get the rest of these in. not every branch is gonna have these but every one every every so often they are they I want the ones at the end to have more as the couple up here will only have a few because I do not want to hide the heart of the server up there for for anything I mean we're poking it we gotta make sure that the heart is alive right but anyways let me go ahead and finish this up guys and when this is all done well well I'll bring you guys back and kind of show you what this silly thing looks like I keep forgetting these last two little blocks here 
uh, which we'll do here in a second, but you can kind of see what's going on. You can see the stick going, kind of going in there. It's kind of a weird angle. Um, the stick is really curvy and really organic, I feel. I feel like it works a lot. Works pretty well. And I'm trying to, like with the headband, I'm trying to make the hair look bushy. You know, I could have made the hair kind of go kind of go over a little bit now that I'm looking at it. But it's okay. I think, I think the point is there. I'm trying to make it look like I was uh, working pretty hard here. Um, Anita's around. Well, not quite around. She's doing an update right now, but she was going to be around. I told her to come to spawn when she comes on, but who knows? Uh, put a couple lights here just to, you know, kind of add some lighting. Not that we need to because this is a mushroom island, uh, so I didn't have to worry about the uh, spawn proofing, which is awesome because you, then now I, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, having to make it look weird with torches and stuff like that because sometimes I will do that just to. Uh, Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright. Let's get these blocks in here. Get the right one in here. So Now it's complete. It's done. Um, I, I need to take a screenshot of this real quick while it's daytime and not raining. Because it just stopped raining and it's daytime. Oh, you can see where I put the spore blossom at. I think it works well there. Because a lot of people, well, I don't know. A lot of people will be flying too. But when you come up, you can kind of see the spore blossom. You can't see my face right now. But the idea... Oops, there went all my rockets. The idea is when you come down from the above, let's go up to the above and come down here. Maybe I should have turned. I, I wanted to. I thought about making the head on both directions, but I thought that may not maybe look weird. That way you can see it. Um, when you come down out of the above and when you're like kind of flying around the shopping district, you can kind of see it over there, but this is what you'll see when you come down. Yeah, we're way up in the sky now. And by the way, anybody who's not like new to the server or come onto the server, where you get out of the above is like this. This way you can see me do it, and not and not uh, think that I'm trying to troll you. But now you're way up above spawn, and then you come down, and you'll see it. And I thought about making the face on this side, but I thought about I, I figured this side would be better. Uh, but I really, I, you know what? I really like this. This pretty good. It's a pretty good second statue of the season. Pretty. It's a. It's a really good one for spawn, I believe. I, th I think that'll help. Like I said, I think it. I think trying to poke it with a trident all the way through it is it a little too dark because <laughs> I was gonna put like blood dripping off the end of the uh, of the trident and everything. And you know what? This is a family server. Let's no, let's not do that. Um, but you know what? This is catching my eye every time. I don't know who built this right here, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> this one's not bad either. I don't know who built it, but, but I. You know what? This this row right here of shops of so these five five six shops five shops. Five, six, seven shops. How many ever shop? How, however many shops are in that row right there. And it's pretty good. Pretty good looking row of shops there. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it's the worst. Because there are some really awesome shops over there too. But we're, this isn't a shopping district. I'm just getting sidetracked here like usual. Uh, but this is. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Always try to do something with the hair. Maybe, maybe I should have have some dripping. Like put some glass panes that make it look like it's dripping off too. I did that one season for Layara's base, and the, the drip, the wet hair looks so good. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this kind of silly episode here at the end. And uh, spawn, like I said, it's open season now. Open season. This this shopping this the top of this shop cracks me up, just because somebody was being silly. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> this episode. Um, have a good day or night, guys.